What's up everybody, you're here with Hayden Jones from SA Boxing Talk. Thank you very much for giving us a watch. And um, yeah, so let's talk about it. And before you even get started, you're gonna wanna, you're, you're gonna wanna subscribe to this channel. Trust me, because your content's gonna be banging out of this place. Let's get straight into it today, talking about Sergey Kovalev, Kovalev and Anthony Yard. Now, the promoters have got together for the last two weeks, couldn't, couldn't get a deal across the line, which I'm kind of disappointed about. You know, not, uh, a lot of people would say Anthony Yard isn't ready, but that's not the point. The point is the promoters haven't been able to get an agreement. So, Kathy Duva has spent the last two weeks, as I said before, with Frank Warren, who is the promoter of Anthony Yard, and they can't find an agreement. So, I'm guessing that this is coming down to where this event's going to be hosted. And I don't think Kathy Duva particularly wants us to be in the UK. And I think that Frank Warren does want this to be in the UK. Now, there's a few arguments saying that you should come fight in the USA or in Canada. And, you know, Kovalev is world renowned, you know, and uh, Anthony Yard's done nothing as yet but knock out B graders. So, what's what's in it, you know? Um, I, I, I think this fight should take place in either Canada or America, not in Russia. I don't think that it's a. Uh, it's worthwhile in Russia, for, especially for television and whatnot. You know, Sergei Kovalev being as big as he is. Unfortunately, when you get to a certain level, you gotta step out your hometown and you gotta fight in the biggest boxing countries in the world. And, and if you're really that popular, your fans will travel. And that's just the reality of it, man. Like, uh, Kovalev, Kovalev's at that level now. He got two, uh, two blemishes on his record uh, to Andre Ward. Obviously, the first fight was very controversial. The second fight, Andre Ward cleaned him up you know, as all greats do in the second fights, and the rematches are the ones that count, man. Um, so yeah, Kathy Duva and Frank Warren, what are they gonna do? They're gonna go to a purse bid, apparently. Now, who has the financial strength between the two? I'm leaning towards Frank Warren, but at the same time, I'm in this, like, I'm not decided on this one because the thing is, Frank Warren, how much does he really trust in Yard to beat Kovalev. Now, does he want to fork out all the money to bring it to England? Does he really think that Yard ha like, is legitimately the next like light heavyweight guy to, to take over? I know he's all muscles and whatnot, but like, is he, is he legitimately the guy to, to go and do it? I don't know, man. Like, it's all up to Frank Warren now. Like, literally, Frank Warren's got to decide, is it worthwhile to, to, to make this investment? And of course, you want to give your guy and you want to pr uh, prove that you're the promoter that gives you guy all the opportunities but at the same time is it is he is he ready is he is he even ready in the first place to fight Sergey Kovalev and second of all is Sergey Kovalev the, the same Sergey Kovalev you know he's still he's still a destroyer in my eyes you know so uh, we won't get into we won't get into a fight analysis just yet uh, I think we'll leave that for future episodes but for now the purse bid uh, let, let's let's settle early days purse bid who's gonna win the purse bid I think in my humble opinion, because I have a humble opinion. I think that Kathy Duva is going to win this purse bid, and I'll tell you why. I think she's going to win this purse bid for one simple reason. She's got the man, Sergei Kovalev. She's got financial power because she's had, she's had a couple of fighters under her wings. You know, her, 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 her husband, who unfortunately passed away years ago, was a huge boxing promoter as well. So she continued that legacy. And... Uh, I think she's got the financial power behind her. I think she knows that she's got sponsorship, television, everything's on, on her side. Uh, she got Ameri she's got America, she's got Canada. So I think that she'll win it. Because I don't think Frank Warren, I think that Frank Warren has more money. This, this is my personal belief. I think that Frank Warren has more money and has other options like ESPN. But I think that he's not going to be as, like if he, if he had Kovalev, if Frank Warren had, if Kovalev was British and Frank Warren had Kovalev, I think that he'd win the purse bid, but because Anthony Yard and because Kathy Duva has Sergey Kovalev, I think that she's going to win the bid. And you know, if you can't see it my way, if you think that maybe Frank Warren's going to go all out because he legitimately believes, like how Eddie Hearn believed in Anthony Joshua, then let me know in the comment section. I want I'm open for debates, man. Like honestly, I want to hear your opinion on the matter. And uh, yeah, I, I don't really, I I, I don't really mind whether it's in England or is USA is so long as it's picked up on television networks around the world and maybe we can get a stream or if not we can get on our local television that's that's all that I care about obviously maybe a British would be nice uh, for me but I can see it going there as I said before I see Kathy Duva winning this so it's going to be like late because I live in South Africa so it's going to be at a really really bad time for me like we're talking about four or five o'clock in the morning 
Whereas if it was in England, it would be close to midnight, so that's probably more suited to me. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's wrap this up. Um, pro split's happening. Who do you guys think is going to win this pro split? I think Kathy Duva. Who do you think is going to get it? Anyway, thanks for listening. Hit that subscribe button. Do not forget to do so. I love you all. Aight. Cheers.